Hello there, World of Tankers. I'm Jordals Blitz, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best sniper in Tier 10 being the Grill. Now, of course, this is a personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think of your favorite Tier 10 sniper in World of Tanks Blitz. However, the reason I picked the Grill is because when you think of the term sniper, you don't think of a vehicle like the Fosh or the FE-2 and 7 Badger. You're not supposed to rush out into the open and deal a crazy amount of damage right in the front lines in a sniper tank. The point of a Grill is to stay all the way the back of the map, use your amazing accuracy and aiming time and shell velocity to be able to snap people across the map, and that's what the grill is meant to do. Now, of course, you could argue the uh, the Jagdpanzer U100 or, let's say, the 268 are meant to do that as well, but again, you can push both of those tanks very aggressive. I would never suggest to push a grill very aggressive because, first of all, only 4 degrees of gun depression. It has one of the worst camouflage ratios, right below the 183, and as well, it is very fast, but at the same time, it's not very maneuverable and you have absolutely zero armor. So all those things combined make it very vulnerable. In fact, I love shooting HE at grills just because they die so easily. So you'll find me pretty much all the times I ever play this tank sitting at the back of the map in some sort of sneaky bush. Now this map here, we are on Faust, which is actually a pretty, uh, pretty sneaky map to play tank destroyers in, but I'm going to be pushing right in this bush here. It's very good if mediums try pushing over to the medium side as well. Uh, there's a lot of heavies that sometimes like the peek out right there, and you can see just how dead eye accurate this gun is. So of course, if you guys do like this type of content and you like me talking about more tank destroyers with live interactive gameplay, please make sure to click that subscribe button down below. I'm trying out a new recording software today. Well, it's not really special, it's just OBS, but it's picking up my mic, it seems better. So let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, we're gonna be playing right into this battle here. So. This is kind of weird starting off the bat. We have that E3 right there. That would be a lovely tank to be able to snap a shell into. However, uh, we're not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to shoot an HE at him, and he missed his shell. And uh, because we do have a better reload time than the E3, I'm not too worried about that. So let's see if we can uh, come on. No, we were not able to get a shell in. However, there we go. Nice tap into the side of the 183. So accuracy all goes for the grill. I don't really ever miss shells in this tank. It does get these weird ricochets sometimes where you don't expect the shells to just go bing. And then they bounce off some very weird, easy shots, you'd think. But that's what sort of the grill is famous for doing. So we've got the Vickers Light, and uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get slam a shell in. There we go. So we've done about a thousand damage, which I'm fine with off the bat. There are still a lot of hit points left on the table, and I don't want to be hit by a very nasty shell. So there we go. We've got the E100, and kaboom. Thank you. This tank always low rolls, and I don't know why that is. It's kind of annoying, but as you can see there, camo rating, it kind of really just does suck for the vehicle every time you do get spotted when you shoot, which is kind of infuriating. Uh, we can't get that E100, just not pulling out its turret enough, but we do have that grill right out in the open, and, uh, well, we're probably going to be able to get a shell right there, nice lead, and there goes the grill, so we're probably not going to be getting out that much damage this game. I want to tap that E100 as it drives up, so we'll see, or maybe that IS-7, but, uh, Let's see. There we go. Another nice tap. Just staying patient. That is what this tank is meant to do. You can see easy damage. We were able to get just about 3,000 in this game here just by being patient. And hopefully that IS-7 will pull back out. I really hope it does. Please, please pull back up forwards. I hope that its track gets repaired very quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's probably, yeah, that tank just got demolished in a couple seconds there. So we weren't able to get out the most damage. However, 3,000 for me in that type of match is a very decent amount. In fact, 3,000 damage in any of my tier 10s is a very solid amount. And you could see easily across the maps, we were able to get shells into the E100's turret, the IS-7. Actually, I don't think we hit the IS-7. Ignore that. But we were able to hit very hard shots that other tank destroyers like the Fosh might have struggled in very far away. But at the same time, you'd be pushing those tanks very, very aggressive. Now, this is a very solid map for tank destroyers. At the same time, it's very bad because it's very open. As soon as you shoot, you have to keep an eye on all of your opponents because you don't have armor. So I'm going to be pushing up to, I normally push in this position, by the way, in all of my tanks. I would definitely suggest to go there, unless, of course, I'm in like a heavy tank where I have like a 111.5A. Of course, I'm going to go over to the base capture. Mouse, I might push over heavy side, but this tank and most medium tanks, you'll find me pushing right up to this house here. I'll either pick the, uh, the position next to that bush, or as well, I will pick this bush here, which I personally find as the best. So there's a missile, and thankfully that uh, that crate there just absolutely saved us because, of course, heat shells do not go through crates. That is a tier 8 vehicle, I just noticed. That's not going to be super fun. 
So they do have quite a bit of mediums. So I'm going to be pushing right here, and I'm going to be waiting for maybe a medium tank to push out. There we go. We've got the T92 detected already. We actually spotted that, which I'm very surprised on, but that's why you never push out of that bush. You'll always see me just waiting here. I've got my camo net up already, so we'll see if anybody tries pushing across the medium side, and if they do, we'll get some nice beefy shells in. Now, if they are pushing heavy, um, yeah, that'll be a bit of a problem for us. However, there's the Yag Tiger, and, uh, Come on, Yag, you know you want to back up. Come on. Oh, no. Ah, uh, we're not able to hit that shell. We've got the Type 61 there. Nobody's backing up yet, but there's our first shot in. That's a 57 Heavy, though. And, uh, yeah, 57 Heavy's not a tank you really want to play with. Not a lot, at least. It will strip me of my entire hit point pool in a matter of seconds, so... Let's see. There we go. Nice tap. That was an extremely low roll. In fact, that might be the lowest roll you can actually get with a 150mm. Uh, Base capture is slowly ticking up for the enemy team. Yeah, that's kind of... This is not maybe going to be the best game here. You can see we're kind of being flanked from all corners. I would definitely want to stay calm, though. I'm not going to worry too much about it, because that's the whole role of the tank destroyers. You don't want to worry about the base. So, there we go. Another nice tap. And, uh, yeah, this is getting a little bit dire. There's a grill behind me. There's a Sheridan in the front. Um, oof. Yeah, there's a lot of tanks here, and I don't want to play with any of that. So, let's see. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, that's got to hurt. So, T92 kind of just blew its entire hit point pull there. And, uh, yeah, definitely wasn't worth it, in my opinion, for the 92. So, I'm going to be backing up, trying to get out of harm's way. That's the only issue with this tank, is it's really, really easy to die in. Like, that 57 Heavy will turn me to nothing, just very quickly. I can easily be flanked by the Sheridan. However, we are actually in a solid position, as you can see. And as long as I'm able to hold here, I'm not too worried about being killed. All right, so there went that tank, and um, I'm not spotted as of right now. That I'm aware of, I'm currently not detected. So I'm going to be trying to find the Sheridan, seeing if I can take him out, because, of course, Sheridan is probably my biggest threat. So there we go, there is the enemy Sheridan. Let's load an HE, and kaboom, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt a lot. And, uh, yeah, let's keep pushing on the Sheridan here. Let's see if we can get one more shell in. So, um, no, we're not gonna be able to get that one in. I will wait, though. I will wait patiently. We're gonna back up here, and, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried, really, about the Sheridan. Um, unless it shoots a missile at me, but there we go, another nice tap into the Sheridan, and we've already done 4,400 damage, so I'm not too worried at all. Come on, T92, if you miss the shot, I die. Uh, I, I pray that this 92 hits his shell. There we go, 92 did hit it, so again, very, very happy. Yeah, that Sheridan was lagging, I could tell there. But we're already at 4,400 damage, we've done our job as the tank destroyer, able to back up, get out of harm's way. We've got the Chieftain, who, yeah, I don't want to be hit by, so I'm going to back up, um... Although, you know what? I could actually take a trade, so let's do it. I'm not too worried. Um, let's trade. There we go. Got a nice tap into the Chieftain, and then let's rush forwards really quickly so we don't die. All right. There we go. We're not dead yet, so very happy about that. And then, uh, come on, don't high roll me. Turn. Turn a little quicker, please. There we go. Okay, so we were able to get in a solid position, and I'll wait for that enemy Chieftain to pull out. And yes! Oh, you cannot kill the mighty, uh, the mighty grill. Come on, T92. There you go. So I played it very aggressive at the end there. And in fact, this was one of the best matches I've played in the grill in quite some time. So I'm very happy I was able to actually play it live for you guys here. But you can see playing the grill in the correct positions gets you out a crazy amount of damage. 5,800 almost in this game, which is pretty solid. And we weren't able we weren't even able to get out the mastery there. So I'm very, very happy with that result. And it kind of showed all of the scenarios with the grill. You can push it aggressive, but you have to really pay attention. I, of course, could not really push aggressive against that 57 Heavy. Would have torn me apart. Even that tier 8 T26, it easily would tear me apart with shells just because it's got like 2300 damage per minute. So you have to be careful about every tank you are pulling up against. However, at the same time, once you're able to get out a very, very nice shell like that HE on the Sheridan, you can rip apart your opponents. It's got over 3000 damage per minute and it's just got such an accurate gun. Now for my equipment, I actually do this a little different than most of my vehicles. Of course, I'm putting on calibrated because look how much high explosive pen you get and as well that premium, you need that premium pen. It's definitely something 
in my opinion. That's very important. Although I will say one weird thing about the grill is it actually has very, very bad premium pen. Like it's not bad, but it definitely could be better. You look at a Fosh, it's like 407. So it's definitely a little bit of a downfall. However, it's still very, very strong, but I will put on enhanced gun lane drive because I definitely want that. It's already got a solid, uh, you know, shell velocity. So that's fine. And I put on refined gun because really 0.2 seconds off your aiming time. That's really boom, boom. That's it. So it's not going to make a difference on aiming time. So 100% I would suggest refined gun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you agree with my decision on the grill being the best and deadliest sniper in Blitz. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you're all doing well out there. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.